Hi guys, welcome to another MTM video. Today in the workshop, we have this 2019 1.6 diesel Kia Optima. Now, the reason that this is in with us is because the engine management light is on the dash, so this light here. And we've given it a quick scan with our launch tool, and we can see there's fault codes for P2B Alpha 800, which is NOx exceedance interruption of dosing activity, and P20C900, Reductant control module requested mill illumination. So there's a few things that can cause this to happen. Could be issues with the DPF, could be issues with the AdBlue system itself, like the injector, the pump, or anything in between, like the lines. So we're gonna have to go and check them out. Now, I've already gone ahead and checked the differential pressure on the DPF at idle, and it's reading 4.3 HPA, which is well within the normal limits, so I'm not too worried about that. So now let's get it on the lift, get it in the air, and we'll check from the injector back. cars up in the air we can go underneath and have a look for the ad blue injector which is just here and everything looks okay at a glance but we're gonna take off the little clamp that secures it to the exhaust and have a look to see what the actual injector looks like from the inside maybe it's crusted up we don't know yet but let's have a look so we're using a number four Allen key just to undo the clamp on the top So even though the screw is out now, the clamp can still be stuck. And you're gonna to have to reuse this clamp so you don't wanna break it. Yeah, can you see that? How crusty it is in there? But yeah, in there is all nice and crusty. So we'll give that a clean out. But also don't forget to check where it sprays into, because likelihood is if the injector is blocked, so is in here. You can see that there. So because of the condition of that injector, it's not the worst I've seen, but it is quite crusty. So you can, using a pick very carefully, take off some of the excess, but using some hot water, not boiling, just some warm water, put it in a little container, and then you can put the end of the injector in there just to help break away that ad blue. I'm just gonna place this in here. And leave it soak for a little bit. So the reason we're soaking the injector tip in warm water is so that the water can dissolve away the crust that's been created by the AdBlue. Because once the AdBlue starts to oxidize, it goes crusty and hard and it can cause blockages. And once I'm happy that this is nice and clean, we can do a dosing test and make sure that it's injecting properly. It's been a couple of minutes. That is looking way better. There's still a touch of residue in there, but that is miles better than it was. So now that injector is clean, I've just put it in this little jug here. I'm gonna go upstairs, put on the ignition, and then using a diagnostic tool, we can carry out a dosing test. So a dosing test is a test that you can carry out to the AdBlue system, specifically the injector, to make sure that it's injecting the correct amount or the correct dose of AdBlue into the exhaust system. By doing this test, you can visibly see the spray pattern that's being created by the injector to make sure that there's no issues or blockages like we've had on this one. Also, this test runs for a specified amount of time because you have to measure the output of AdBlue depending on how long the test is. So if it runs for you know, 30 seconds up to three minutes, then it should be giving you this amount of AdBlue. Your diagnostic tool will give you a rundown of how much you should expect, and then you'll be able to measure to see if it's within limits or not. Now, this test often does get overlooked, and it's a good way of testing the overall health of the system because if you do a dosing test and it's actually injecting, then you know that the pump and everything in the tank end should be fine as long as you haven't got any additional fault codes. So as long as the injector is actually doing its job and, and it's dosing correctly, then you know everything from behind that is okay and you can carry on with your diagnosis. I'm not sure how well you can see on camera, but we'll carry out the test now. Not sure if you can see there, but that spray pattern is getting better. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now well, that's looking a bit better. Now we can refit this. Well, now that that's all tight, we can clear the fault codes, go on a road test, and see if that's made a difference. So another thing that you may have to do is reset the engine adaptives. 
so that everything can kind of relearn as it goes. But for now, guys, that's another one done. So if this video has helped, guys, please give us a like on the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot. And even better, you can keep up to date with all of our other videos. So see you next one. Cheers.